Hi, I'm Kim Field from Arlington, Texas. This pipeline blockade is important to me because I'm a parent. But I understand that the low-hanging fossil fuel fruit is not available anymore. It is economically unsustainable as well as environmentally unsustainable. My name is Sam Avery. I'm from Hart County, Kentucky. And fossil fuel extraction in the form of mountaintop removal, fracking, and tar sands is the environmental issue of our time. My name is Rebecca Waters and I am from Galveston, Texas. Today we are discussing the XL pipeline that's coming down from Canada. It is wrong for these companies to take advantage of the populations that live in these areas. I'm Tammy Carson. I'm from Arlington, Texas, and I'm here because I'm outraged at what people with money and power are doing to our earth. It's not just mine, it's my kids, it's my grandkids, it's all of ours, and I'm here to say it's not okay. Ready to put myself on the line to, to make that statement. Uh, my name is Gary Stewart. I'm a native Texan. I finally am convinced that the current political situation, system that we have, is corrupt. It is not working. Uh, there are some good people who are able to do some things, but the, the cards are stacked against us. And I realize it's time for direct action. Yes, my name is Benjamin Butler. I'm from Denton, Texas. I think that um, people are starting to realize that uh, going through more traditional means of change aren't working anymore, and that uh, we basically have to put um, ourselves and our bodies on the line. And um, I felt really empowered by joining this community here. It's really powerful being around individuals who are so committed to standing up for the planet and what they feel is right. So. My name is Alejandro De La Torre. I'm from Houston, Texas. And I'm here because runaway climate change is my number one priority. I think that everybody needs to really get in and get on that fight and uh, take direct action. So. My name is Benjamin Franklin and I'm from Houston. I'm part of Occupy Houston. and. I'm a Unitarian Universalist. Divinity and sacredness of the planet, as well as the interconnectivity of all beings, is a key part of our religious values. So I have to go and do something. I'm Mary Francis from Norman, Oklahoma, and I have uh, been an activist uh, for 50 years. I'm 70. And I do what I do because it's the right thing to do. And when my granddaughter asks me, Grandma, how did you let it get this way? I'm going to be able to say, sweetheart, I never stopped trying to fix it. My name is Aiden Creasy and I'm from Austin, Texas. I'm here because I feel as a white person who benefits from white privilege and settler privilege on stolen land that it's my responsibility to do what I can to stand in solidarity with indigenous people in Alberta, Canada, who are under assault. And I'm here because I want to get in between what's left of this planet and fossil fuels. I'm here because I want to see an escalation in our movement so that we resolve to physically stop, by whatever means necessary, the fossil fuel industries and shut them down permanently so that we have a small chance, a chance, any chance, for there to be a livable planet, not just for our human grandchildren, but for the grandchildren of the trees here, for the other members of our greater living community. I also don't want to see the lives and homes of these folks in East Texas and elsewhere to be destroyed by this pipeline. And I am deeply honored to be included to work with all the fine folks here who are doing amazing things. I really hope that we can muster the courage to be honest with ourselves about what needs to be done and the sacrifices that we need to make to ensure that we have the basics. Breathable air, drinkable water, and that's why I'm here.